pretty cool about matter and everything, but can matter actually go through changes? Matter can go through several changes. One would be a chemical change. A chemical change occurs when one or more substances are changed into new substances with different properties. We can also go through a physical change. A physical change occurs when one or more physical properties of a substance are changed. So, give me an example of a physical change. Hmm. Crumpling up a piece of paper? Because watch. <laughs> it's a piece of paper. It's still a piece of paper. You're absolutely right. Now, how about chemical change? If I take a log and I burn it. Exactly. It can't go back to its original log. It goes through a process to become something different called ash and smoke and heat through the fire. Exactly. Those are actually signs of a chemical change. Color change, the heat that's given off is actually a sign of a chemical change. Even other things like if it gases or if it bubbles, those are all signs that a chemical change is actually taking place. Wow, after all that, I think my brain matters a lot. Get it? Matter? Matter? Everything. Matter matters. Yeah, matter matters. Which matter matters. I bet they're ready to do the e-lab coming up pretty soon now, huh? And I bet you they're smart enough to know all the answers by now. Now that you know the basics of matter, you become the experts. So now you get to help the lab director in your Matter Matters e-lab. Because remember, you matter. <laughs> this is Lab Director Meredith. And Lab Director Kudlak. We are signing off for the day. Wishing you well on your Matter Matters eLab. Over now. Bye, guys.